Despite claiming that he was having engine troubles, though, didn't keep him from getting chewed out. When he returned to base, he was almost immediately confronted by Alfred Grant, the captain of a squadron who grounded him and even threatened to have Luke arrested and court-martialed for supposed absences without leave. And while Frank didn't take these threats lightly, he also didn't think that what he did warranted such actions and pulled the true maverick move and took matters into his own hands. Frank Luke Jr. took off from Rambercourt on September 29 without any authorization and began flying toward an airbase at Verdun, where he knew someone could help him. After speaking with his group commander, Major Hartney, who was sympathetic to Luke, this commander canceled the arrest order and allowed the ace to continue his hunting. And that very evening, he went out looking for more balloons to take out. Little did he know, though, that would end up being his final flight and Frank Luke Jr. was about to go down in a blaze of glory.